afraid of new high rise. Oh, no. We'll see about that. Hey, Buster, cut out that racket. I'm trying to sleep down there. Oh, yeah? Well, uh... Hey, what are you doing up here? See that? Number of accidents on this job, zero. National Safety Voice Medal for perfect record awarded to Jack Hammer, foreman. That's me. And I aim to keep that record. Now beat it. Well, I see it doesn't pay to ask you nicely. Look, boy brain, I told you to get down before you have an accident. Such as what? Such as this. <laughs> You're all right. Uh, everything's okay. Uh, you didn't get fired, did you? You didn't have an accident. Jack Hammer, this is your superintendent. We have a deadline, you know. Now hurry it up and don't forget that safety record. Uh, yes, sir. I got to hurry before this cement gets hard. Get me out of here! Don't go away! <laughs> well, I guess we have to change the sign now. No, don't do that! Well, you had an accident. I did not! You did! I didn't. Did. Did not. I did it on purpose. Don't forget that deadline. No, sir. I want to hear that rivet gun. And don't forget, safe papers. Yes, sir. Wait. See that sign? Capacity one passenger. You'll have to wait. Remember, safety first. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Hey, what am I doing? Send that elevator down. Well, I guess that was an accident. No, I didn't have no accident. You did, too. I did not. I was just climbing around. Oh, boy. <laughs> Help! There's no accident. You've done it on papers. <laughs> oh, I can't stand to see a man cry. Look, fella. You've got a job to do, and I want some peace and quiet. Let's work this thing out.
Dum dum dum. Do 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 do. Zowie. Ha 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 ha. Do 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 do. Rub do 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 do. Do 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 do. Rub rub rub. Rat that dingo gandans flooded on them, blord it. Charlie, what's the matter? Bessie, it's raining cats and dogs out there. Oh, it is? Well, Charlie, as long as it's raining, this is a good time for you to paint and wallpaper the living room. Junior, get in here and help me. Oh, gee. What happened? Charlie, quit fooling around and get to work. Charlie, that's my best antique chair you're standing on. Don't worry, I won't get any paint on it. If anything happens to that chair... Oh, for crying out loud. I guess Pop kicked the bucket, huh, Mom? <laughs> Now get on the board. Ow! Gee, what did I do, Pop? You did this. Ow! Junior, go get some more paint. Okay. <laughs> Hey, somebody help me! That looks fine, Charlie. Oh, uh, gee, excuse me, Bessie. I, 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 I was just, I mean, uh... <clears throat> said it would be clear. Where'd your father go, Junior? Gee, I don't know. Charlie, why are you trying to hide? I'm not hiding. That is, I mean, I, I, I was... Uh... <laughs> now do it right, knucklehead. Oh, boy. Gee, I'm kind of proud of this job. How's your side, Junior? Okay, Pop. Oh, but crying out loud. You dumb nut. The stripes go like this. Not like this. Going on in here. Why did it have to rain today? Well, what do you know? It's not raining. I still got time for 18 holes. Huh? Well, all the 
dirty trick. I confess, Charlie, I tricked you into staying home. But you just made a mess. So go ahead and play golf, dear. Have a good time. Or... <laughs> I'm getting out of this city <laughs> and all this smog. <laughs> Some smedley. Dum de dum de dum 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 de dum de dee. Um, uh, yes, sir, Colonel. Smedley, pack my bags. We are getting out of this smog. We're going to my lodge in the mountains. Um, uh, yes, sir, Colonel. It certainly feels good to get away from the city smog. It sure does, Colonel. <laughs> I haven't been here in ten years. This place is a mess. It sure is untidy, sir. Well, get busy and clean it up. I'm going to take a nap. Pleasant dreams, Colonel. <laughs> Oh, no. It's a penguin. Oh, hello, mister. I'm Chilly Willy. Welcome to my home. Now, just a minute, little feller. This house belongs to Colonel Potshot, and you are not welcome here. I'm not welcome? No, you're not welcome. But I live here. This is my home. Well, find yourself another home, Chilly. Sayonara. Get rid of him. Uh, now you just finish your nap, sir. Hey, you! I'll get you now, penguin. Excuse me a minute, I'll be right back. 
Oh, my gosh, Colonel. Ooh, what are you doing in a block of ice? Don't panic, Colonel. This warm bath will thaw you out nicely. Meanwhile, I'll go catch that penguin. Now, let's see. Where were we? I was running this way, and you were running that way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey. That little feller's trying to fool me. You can't get away now. I'm too smart for you. I'll go get my friend. My plumber's friend. I gotcha. Now, look here, young feller. You're trespassing here. This is the Colonel's house. No, no. It's my house, too. You went through a red light in a bathtub. One for you and one for me, pal. Thank you, Chilly Willy. See? It's much more fun to be friends. <laughs> hey, Woody! Time for a Woody Woodpecker cartoon. Him 
not cowboy, him horse. Hey, what you do with horse? Oh, there he is. We got you now, horse. <laughs> Me find horse if it takes many moons. Hey, squaw, you see horse? Hey, wait, me talk to Papoose. Kuchitu, you see horsey? Ooh, Papoose speak with forked tongue. Uh-oh, horse footprints. Ow! Hey, what you got? Oh, that's Bossy, my cow. Hmm, you sure this is cow? I want to see him hoofs. Show him your hoof, Bossy. Oh, boy. We see many moons now. Get off my back. You're the horse. I'm supposed to ride you. <laughs> now I go on warpath. him if I don't like him. Oh, give me a pinto, a barbecue pinto, a blue plate special man course. With me it's a habit, it's better than rabbit. My favorite dish is the horse. <laughs> In a beautiful castle in a faraway land lived a happy king named Cookie. This cutie pie is King Cookie's lovely daughter, Sophia. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the slickest chick of all? You are, babe, and that's not all. King Cookie also had a beautiful nightingale named Florence. Say, Florence, sing for me. Higher! Higher! Lauren, my beautiful singing bird! <laughs> what happened, Big Daddy? Lauren, she has kicked the bucket! The king will give his daughter's hand in marriage to any man who will bring him a singing bird. Oh, boy! The king's daughter for a singing bird. 
You looking for a singing bird? I'm a singing bird. Yeah. Can you whistle? Oh, sure. Listen. I mean whistle like a bird. Oh, sure. Come closer. You ready? <laughs> I'm gonna get a singing bird, and I'm gonna marry the king's daughter. That woodpecker, he can sing. Gadzooks, I can hear them wedding bells now. Your Highness, I bring you a singing bird. Good, good. Some bird seed to bait the trap. And when I hear the bell ring, I got him. Brains. More brains. <laughs> Wonder what he's got in the box. Here you are, your royal kingship. A singing bird. Here's your singing bird, King Koki. How about your daughter's hand? I want to hear him sing. And if he doesn't, <laughs> off with your head. <laughs> Start singing. Come on, sing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> to the guillotine. That dirty rat fink woodpecker. on the wall. Who's the fairest of the fair? You are, Dolly, but beware. If you are not married by midnight, you will be turned into a witch. A witch at midnight. Oh, my gosh. Don't lose your head, Fred. Whew. Come on, we gotta hurry. You are going to a wedding. King Kooky, you want a singing bird? I've decided to sing for you, so he can marry your lovely daughter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, goody, goody. On with the wedding. You're on, little bird. Start singing. <laughs> me, me. <laughs> That's the Woody Woodpecker song. We are gathered here to join this waltz of friends on the trousers of in a frozen, brining tea <laughs> jungle. <laughs> He's a pecking it all day long. Hmm. Oh, boy. In two minutes, she'll be a witch. Now we got to make this for the government dance on the lady was picking long for. That's the witch was picking song. Okay, let's finish the wedding. And now place the ring on her finger. Oh, yeah, the ring. Hurry it up with the ring. Uh, yes. Oh, yeah. With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. Hold it, Cookie. You haven't lost a daughter. You've gained a witch.
Whoops, pardon me, mister. Whoa, you're ugly. $1,000. Say, you have been a bad boy, haven't you? $2,000. Mmm, shame on you. Wow, $5,000. This guy must have graduated cum laude from Nasty U. Bounty on all woodpeckers, 25 cents. 25 cents? That's an insult. Gives a guy an insecure feeling, like he's not really wanted. There, that's better. Whoa. Ah, there's my picture. Dirty McNasty. Reward, $5,000. <laughs> Gives a guy a kind of secure feeling. Makes him feel really wanted. <laughs> Who? What's this? Bounty on woodpeckers? $25,000? Well, we can't pass up a deal like that, eh, Sugarfoot? Even if it is legal. <laughs> Hold on there, stranger. You seen any of them $25,000 woodpeckers around here? Yep, whole flock of them went that away. Hmm. Doom de doom de doom de Sugar pine, my favorite food. Follow that woodpecker. <laughs> hey, knucklehead, come back here. You ain't no horse fly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, woodpecker, come on out. Oh, no. You'll have to blast me out. Gee, I wish I'd have thought of that. Now, remember. You push the plunger down when I say all clear. When you say what? All clear. Bad rat that gum fools of dog wrong runs from bat and goose and jacket. I'm a going down after him. You let me down easy, and this time, do it right. Pardon me. You got a match? <laughs> that wreck of dumb goose of fresh gas and blood dinkles. <laughs> Go fetch my shotgun.
If you think I'm sticking my head out again, you're plumb loco. <laughs> Whose side are you on, anyway? We are on the side of law and order. And you are under arrest, Mr. Duty McNasty. <laughs> You want me to draw first, eh? It's time for another cartoon! The Berry Family, starring Charlie Berry, Bessie Berry, and Junior. What the heck's the matter with you, Bessie? I'll tell you what the heck's the matter. Our grass is drying up while you sit around the house. Now get out there and water the lawn. Why can't Junior do it? It's his turn. Junior is busy practicing. He's playing an Indian in the school play. Idea, Bessie. Water the lawn. What a waste of time. All right, what's going on? I've decided, Charlie. You don't have to water anymore. Oh, uh, I don't. No, we're having an automatic sprinkling system put in. We are. Oh, uh. Wait a minute. How much will it cost? Three hundred dollars. Oh, no. I'm not putting out $300 for a sprinkling system. I'll get about 90 feet of pipe, and I'll do it myself. Hey, Junior! What you want, Pop? Come down here and help me. Okay, Pop. And hurry up. Here I am. Oh, my Pop's gonna hit me. Picking on Junior and get to work. Junior, get me a hacksaw. Oh, crying out loud. Charlie, come here. Now get this pipe out of here. Why does everything happen to me? <laughs> I wonder if she's gone. Oh, oh. <laughs> Junior, bring over a pipe. You dumb nut, why did you put the end down in the mud? Now you got it all plugged up. I'm sorry, Pop. I'll blow it out. Never mind. I'll do it. Oh, gosh. Come here, Charlie. Yes, 
switch hand, Charlie. Oh, uh, uh, that one? No, this one. Well, it's all done, Junior. Go tell your mother to come out. We are gathered here today to celebrate the grand opening of the Charlie Berry Sprinkler System. Junior, you will present the key to Mrs. Berry. Thank you. Now, my dear, you may have the honor of turning on the water. Hey, what's the matter? Why don't it start? I'll tell you why. Here's the water bill you didn't pay. The water's been turned off. Now, do you have any bright idea for getting the lawn watered? I got an idea, Mom. You know, my Indian dance book tells how to do a rain dance. And Father here can swat the cars in my beloved. That's a good idea. All right, Charlie. Page 42 in the dance book. Oh, Bessie, I feel silly out here like this. Well, you can't come in until you make it rain. So, as they say, dance up a storm, Charlie. Come on, silly. Yay, yay. Yip, yip, hi, ya, yow. Has it started to rain yet, Charlie? E yow, how now I yip, yip, go, zo, oh, bo, bo, boom, boom, ho, 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 ho,
Would you like to make a couple of bucks? Yeah? What I gotta do? <sighs> I can't tell you here. Come with me. How about that, eh? You look just like a real genie. <laughs> This'll be my best con game yet. <laughs> Now, you get inside, and when I rub the magic lamp, you come out and say, Oh, what is your wish, oh great master? Rubbing the lamp. What's a big idea? Sleeping on the job? When do I get me two bucks? Never mind that. Now this time, stay awake. I'm rubbing the lamp again. What is your wish, oh great master? By George, I think he's got it. <laughs> Now I'll put in the bait. A bag of jelly beans. Step right up, folks. Get your man. 
magic lamp right here. Ah, here's a bright young fella. How would you like to buy a magic lamp with a genie inside? You just make a wish and you just get what you want every time. Bowie, I'm wise to that old phony lamp trick. Oh, no, pal. Try it and see for yourself. Because uh, it ain't your lamp yet. You can just wish for something small. Now, go ahead and rub the lamp. Well, okay. Uh, what is your wish, oh great master? He'd like a bag of jelly beans. Okay, jelly beans coming up. How about that? Now are you convinced? Ah, uh, I wanted to wish for a new limousine. Look, pal, what do you expect for a free rub? I just wanted to prove that the lamp works. Now, when it's your lamp, you can wish for a million dollars. Well, uh, okay then, I'll buy the lamp. All right, that'll be $25. <laughs> now you can start to live, sonny. Hey, how about me two bucks? Get away from me, boy. You bother me. <laughs> now I think I wish for something big. Come on out, Genie. Come out and ask me what I want. Hey, you in there, Genie? What's the matter with this thing? He's gone. There's no Genie in there. That's right, chum. You've been taken by that con man, Buzz. Buzzard. You, you mean I've been swindled? Yeah, and he cheated me out of two bucks. But I got a plan how we can get even. Listen, this is the way I figured, see? All we gotta do is find this guy. <laughs> Oh, my gosh. Hey, Woodpecker! Oh, hello, my good man. Where, where'd you get this fancy limousine? Oh, I'm rich now, you know. I just rubbed the lamp, wished for a million dollars, and... Bowie, I'm loaded. <laughs> we can start now, Mousy. I gotta get that lamp. Well, we fooled him, all right. But I sure wish I had my $25 back. Give me back my magic lamp! For a million bucks. Let me have it. The winner! <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me for knocking you down. 
<laughs> Excuse me for knocking you down. Here, you can have the deed to my house. It's haunted by the ghost of Wild Bill Hiccup. I'm leaving. Look, Sugarfoot. He gave us the deed to his house. The old timer gave the deed to that woodpecker. I gotta get that deed, and then this place will be mine. They're coming in. I'll haunt this place and drive them away, too. Or my name ain't Wild Bill. Hiccup. Oh, gone. I still hiccup. Can't say my name without hiccup. 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 I needed that. Make yourself at home, Sugarfoot. It's all ours. They're downstairs now. I better get to work. <laughs> now, don't worry about a thing, Sugarfoot. There's no such thing as a ghost. Boo. Cut it out, Sugarfoot. I told you there's no ghost. That was probably just the wind. Uh, I hope. Come on, let's look around. cleaner trick. It always works. Uh, uh, go away, you ghost. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> that was just our imagination. Don't you think so, Sugarfoot? This will scare the living daylights out of them scaredy cats. Sugarfoot, let's explore our new house. Yahoo! Yahoo! I'm the ghost rider in the sky! Whoa! Are you the ghost of Wild Bill Hick? Don't say it! Don't say hiccup! No! Ghost. Them pesky critters has got to go. Imagine that guy trying to scare us away. Well, I can do a little haunting myself. <laughs> that dumb woodpecker thinks he can fool me. <laughs> I'm a, uh, uh, I'm a, 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 Ah. Uh. 
That's my boss. He's a big game hunter. Really big. Come here, Smedley. Yes, sir, Colonel, sir. Look at this. There's going to be a new caretaker around here if you don't get busy and tidy up. And if you don't... Now get to work. Yes, sir. That man's really a high-strung type feller. Got a real hair-trigger temper. But he treats me just fine. Smedley, I'm going out jogging. You take good care of the logs. Oh, yes, sir, Colonel. And get to work! Call turn it out, rotted from a frazzle! Are you all right, Colonel? I'll get you for this, Smedley. He's a little bit upset now, but uh, he's a very sweet person. One, two, one, two, one, two, one. Don't worry, sir. I'll take care of everything. Uh-oh. It's you-know-who. No handouts this season, Chili. Sayonara. Uh, that's goodbye in French. Ta-dum, ta-dum, da-lum, bum-bum, ba-lum, ba-bum, ba-bum, bum-bum, bum-bum, bum-bum. Bum bum ba 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 You're here again, huh? Yeah, this is me. You like it here, eh? Yes. You'd like to stay, huh? Yes, me like. You would? Yes. Well, you can! The Colonel don't allow no moochers around here. Now get! Hunt two, hunt two, hunt two, hunt two. Bradley, fix my lunch! Oh, boy. Lunch time. Uh, what do you have, sir? T-bone steak. What else, sir? Six fried eggs. Is that all, sir? How about some fish? I thought I told you to get. By Jove, a real live penguin. Why, he's beautiful. I'll have him stuffed and put in my collection. <laughs> I'll catch him, sir. I got him. Come out of there, you little rascal. He'll be mad. What do we do? Now we are in trouble, Chili. Let's get out of here. Come out, you scoundrels.
Way out in the west there's a story that's told About a mine that was lost and it's loaded with gold The tale that they tell is that when it is found There's heaps of gold nuggets right there on the ground But no one will find it, so many have tried It's guarded by ghosts of the miners that died Yes, it's guarded by ghosts of the... Oh, boy, I think I'll take a little nap. Hey, Sugarfoot, we found a real gold nugget. Doggone. I've been digging for 30 years, and I ain't found no gold yet. Yippee! We found gold. Gold! Huh? Gold? We're rich, Sugarfoot. We're rich. I gotta get that gold. And look, here's a gold mine. It says, abandoned mine. Now we can go in and get more gold. Oh, no. This is my gold mine. Look. You see? That's my name. Joe Abandoned. So you'll have to get. Now, goodbye and get lost. Oh, yeah? Let me see your credentials. Here's my credentials. Now, you beat it or I'll shoot you. Okay, shoot. <laughs> Don't go away. I'll 
be back soon with another cartoon. <laughs>
Howdy, Colonel Old Timer. With body all weary and wrecked with pain. Hey, how's that? It's gonna rain. No, no. Just step through my magic fountain. It'll make you a kindergarten dropout. Well, all righty. Come on out, youngster, and jump for joy. Uh, oh, oh. Get done, fool. I'm still old, and now my feet are wet. I'll learn you. <laughs> <laughs> Commander Short Snort, you will proceed at once to the South Pole in our new one-man nuclear submarine. There, you will establish a new missile base. Yes, sir. Commander Short Snort here. Now hear this, Commander. You are running behind on your schedule. Now hurry up with that missile base. Aye, aye, sir. Soup fog out there. in your sleep again, Chili. Come on, let's go back to bed. Cinema. <laughs> uh, let me take a look, Chili. Oh, my gosh! The abominable snowman! Commander Short Snort calling Washington. I want to report there's an abominable snowman up there on the ice. Nonsense! You are out of your cotton-picking mind. Now, get to work. Aye, aye, sir. Hey, uh, what's this thing, Chili? I don't know. Hey, you out there, put me back down. There's someone in there, Chili. Gee. 
Smoke him out? That's a good idea, chili boy. I wish to request transfer, sir. On account of the smug. <laughs> Nonsense, Commander. There is no smog at the South Pole. Now get to work. What, firecrackers? Yeah. Seabury and Junior. around here. That thing sounds like a 747 flying through the house. Here, Charlie, have a nice cup of tea. It'll calm you down. Oh, you're as nervous as a bird dog. I am not nervous, and I do not want a cup of tea. Take the tea, Charlie. <laughs> not nervous, you say? I think you better see a doctor. I'm not nervous, and I'm not gonna see a doctor. Oh, yes, you are. Oh, no, I'm not. I am not going to see a doctor. Uh, what's the verdict, Doc? You are a very nervous man, Mr. Beery. You have to relax. Do you have any hobbies? Well, I, I watch TV, but that is not enough. Come, let me show you something. Here's a little hobby of mine, raising tropical fish. Very good therapy just watching them swim around. Hey, that's a good idea, Doc. I'm going right out and buy a fish tank. Now, what were you saying? 
Yeah, I'd like a nice big fish tank. How about this one? Oh, yeah, that'll be fine. Now, how about some fish? Oh, these look nice. I think I'll have a few of these. Ow! You silly. Those are man-eating piranhas. Oh, I, I better see something else. Uh, hi, Meathead. Ah, uh, yes. How about a catfish? Ah, uh, he's kind of cute. What does he eat? What else? Mice fish. Yuck. I'll take the tank outside. You just pick out about a dozen fish for me. I'll just put it on top. This is our Finny Friends special assortment. That'll be $52. Dog, get glum, rabbit, rabbit. Now I need some water. Assaulting an officer and damaging city property. Sign here. Hey, Mom. Pop is home. Uh, uh, Junior, bring a bucket of water. Uh, help me pick up these fish. Now I'll have to get another tank. Charlie, what the heck are you doing? Oh, uh, I bought these tropical fish, and uh, the doctor said I should have a hobby. And he said I should watch him swim. You know I don't like fish. Now pick them up and take them right back to the store. Oh, good day, Mr. Beery. My, but you look nervous today. Did you buy some fish? Yeah, here they are. <laughs> Hello, Ding-a-ling. 
What's with all the tra-la-las? Oh, it's such a nice day. I thought I'd go visit my grandmother. Yeah? What's in the basket? Pizza. Pizza? Yeah, Grandma just loves pizza. Bye now. I'm off to see my grandma. Tra-la-la-la-la-la. Oh, boy, I'm hungry for pizza. I'll take a shortcut through the woods and get to Grandma's house first. Well, bless my soul, it's Wooda Woodpecker. I've seen you on TV. Quick, Granny, run for the hills. The dam is breaking. Ah! Gee. La, 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 la. Hey, Minnie, did you hear the news? Granny, what are you doing up there? Run for your life, Minnie. The dam's broken. Who told you that? Woody Woodpecker told me. So that's his little scheme, trying to pull the old Red Riding Hood trick. Well, I'll fix that, Moocher. Hey, Granny, you want your pizza now? No, I left home so fast, I forgot my teeth. Screwball. Now I'll go take care of that sneaky little woodpecker. She should be here any minute. Come in. Hello, Grandmother. How are you? Well, I'm kind of hungry. My, what big eyes you have. Yeah, the better to... Uh... Ow! Don't do that! And my, what funny feet you have. They look like woodpecker feet. Is that a nice way to talk about your grandmother? Uh, <laughs> did you bring me a pizza? And how did you know I had pizzas? Oh, I could smell them. My, what a big nose you have. Red hot pepper. Here's your pizza, Grandma. Water! Water! Give me water! Red hot sauce. Here's a drink. No, no, Mrs. Meanie. I was just having fun. Now I'm gonna have some fun. Shucks, that little fella must have been mistaken. Damn, ain't broken. I'm going back home. Now, where is he hiding? Land sakes. Climbing telephone poles is very tiring when you're 89 years old. Uh-oh, he's back in bed. Stop it! Oh, I'm sorry, Granny. I thought you were that woodpecker. Well, why would you want to beat him? I've seen him on TV. Oh, yeah, well, he's a rascal. And when I catch him, I'm gonna... Oh, ow, 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 Land sakes. A body can get more rest on the telephone pole. Uh-oh, he's hiding in the cedar chest. I'll get a rope and tie it up. Hey, Granny, the Yankees are coming. Quick, hide in the chest. Ah! Yankees.
This is the story of the Pony Express and the daring riders who carried the United States mail between St. Joseph, Missouri and San Francisco. What am I going to do? I'm all out of riders. This job is too dangerous. I've got to find a new rider. Oh, hello there. Hey, boy, come here. What's up, daddy -o? Can you ride a horse, Sonny? Are you kidding? Watch this. Get it out. Yeah, yeah, yippee, yip, 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 yip. Hi, oh, there we are. <laughs> You're hired. Reporting for duty, sir. Here, take this postcard to San Francisco. And don't forget the stamp. Oh, you want a stamp? Sugarfoot, it's about time for the new radio to change horses. Here I come. Hold them up. Come on, Sugarfoot. Hide over there. I guess he's gone. Hey, cut that out. Give him to me, mail pouch. I haven't got a mail pouch. I just got this postcard. Okay, I take postcard. Hey, it got no stamp. Oh, we'll fix that. Hey, Sugarfoot, give this guy a stamp. <laughs> Here, have another marshmallow, Sugarfoot. I'm glad we lost that crazy Indian. Here, have another marshmallow. <laughs> Don't worry, Sugarfoot. That's only a coyote. <laughs> I told you it's just a coyote. I'll throw him a marshmallow. <laughs> Pretty good. I get more. <laughs> I better throw him another. I better take a look. Uh oh, coyotes don't have feathers. I'll give him a marshmallow to remember. He's only a stone's throw away. Coming up, Mr. Coyote. Here he comes. Me drop big stone on him. Want to take a little rest, Sugarfoot? Oh! <laughs> 
And so our brave hero finally reaches his destination. There it is, Sugarfoot. San Francisco. Pony Express reporting, sir. And here's your postal card. Yeah, but where's the stamp? Stamp? Sugarfoot. of utter devastation shows the work of the red-headed woodpecker. The damage caused by this destructive bird cost the utility companies millions of dollars yearly. But there is hope, for at this very moment, the famous Professor Grossenfeber is busy at work on a plan to eradicate the woodpecker menace. <clears throat> uh, Professor Grossenfeber? Oh, hello there! Professor, could you show us your new secret invention? Well, I could show you if you don't tell no woodpeckers. You see, when Dom Woodpecker sees the sign Vericum, free lunch, he will enter the trap. <laughs> I have to laugh when I think how dumb is the woodpecker. You see, attached to the gooseberry pie is 500 pound weight. When the Dom Woodpecker eats the gooseberry pie, a 500 pound weight will come down and knock him. <laughs> hmm. Looks good. <sniffs> Smells good, too. Hello there. You looking for me? Nice place you got here. I showed the dumb woodpecker. Oh boy, now I get him, you bet. Nice gooseberry pie. Hello there, you want some gooseberry pie? No, you do. <laughs> Have a nice piece of pie. Your pie. More pie. Rats. This time I fix him, that dumb woodpecker. Hey, you want your picture token? Me? Oh yes. <laughs> dumb woodpecker. This is my good side. Shoot. Don't worry, I shoot. <laughs> Smile. I'm smiling. I'll take a dozen, Professor. <laughs> when the dumb woodpecker opens the door, pow, a canuck on the noggin. <laughs> Yoo-hoo, woodpecker, come get some nice gooseberry pie. Yoo-hoo. Come on, darling, woodpecker. Come in. I wonder where he could have went. That dumb woodpecker. That's 
good cigar. I wonder what kind is it? Exploding cigar? <laughs> that dumb woodpecker. I show him this time who is more smarter than he is. That's good. Dumb woodpecker is falling for the trap. <laughs> Ladies first, sugar. <laughs> I got him! I got him! <laughs> I've been tricked. Why that kooky professor? Now I'll show him a couple of tricks. At last I have smashed the woodpecker trouble. Now I will celebrate. Come, my little Fraulein, we dance! Hey! Hey! Wait a minute! Something has gone wrong! Now, a little kissing. In the lonely Antarctic, high on a snowy peak, can be found the largest of all seabirds, the albatross, also known by sailors as the goonie bird. Here we see a pink goonie bird, perhaps the only one in the world. Albatross. Request the pleasure of your company for a fish dinner. P.S. You bring the fish. <laughs> fish dinner, very good. Me like. Thanks to you, Chili, my little pal. Fish all gone. Me go home now. Okay, buddy boy. I'll give you a lift. Fasten your seatbelt and no smoking. <laughs> Let's go. Thanks, Al. Bye-bye, pal. Warning! Huh? 
hunter here to get you. Your pal, Chili. Hmm. <laughs> now, looky here, you, you pesky North Pole Phantom. <laughs> now, get. Help. Man kicked me. Sign chilly. Well, we'll see about that. Hey, you. It's a pink goonie. What's a big idea picking on my pal? Wait, hold on a minute. I've got something for you. It's a present. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Turn around and close your eyes. Okie dokie. Aha! I got you. What do you want to do now, Chili? Mm, let's go up to your house. Okay, let's play gin rummy. Let's go. There's more than one way to get that bird. Okay, Goonie Bird. This time I really got something for you. Black shot! Uh, what's the matter with the gun? Gee, I don't know. Let's take a look. Hmm. There's your trouble, mister. Hair triggers, bullet dandruff. <laughs> Seems okay now. You try it. He <laughs> didn't say goodbye. He overshot, Chili. Yeah. Let's go see what else he has, Chili. Let's go. Boy, look at all this stuff. Rubber albatross decoy. I make it bigger. I know how we can have some fun, Chili boy. Pink albatross! Aha! At last I got the pink albatross! Now I can go home! I can fly home with my fine specimen! I will be painted! I will be I am! I I I I I I Help! Let me down! Help, I say! Let me go! Daddy wanted to fly home with an albatross! <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
in the whole world, Ma. Shocks, Pa, it ain't nothing. You're beautiful, Ma. I'll get us some coffee. I'm hungry, Ma. If you want any more, you go out and shoot it. That's just what I'll do. I'll shoot me a turkey or a possum or something. you, Ma? Well, you started it. Ain't so. You started it. I didn't. You did. I did not. You did, too. I didn't. Hey, knock it off down there. I'm trying to get some sleep. It's that darn woodpecker. <laughs> Give me that gun, Pa. Hey, lucky. Oh, cut off in my youth. Oh, it's going fast. It's getting dark. <laughs> Pay attention to this acting, folks. I should get an Oscar for this. Oh, goodbye. Meat on the table. Some carrots, some turnips, salt and pepper, and we get a thicker pot pie. and hardly wait to eat that woodpecker pot pie. There ain't no more pot pie, Ma. You big hog, you had it all. I say it not. You did too. I did not. You did too. Did not. You did. It's his fault for all the feuding, fighting, and fussing. Ma! <laughs> I swear that varmint's around here somewhere. Don't go away. I'll 
be back soon with another cartoon. <laughs>
Stop the music. How's the bar me two beds? From now on, Pucci, you're gonna wait for me. I got my two beds. Good night, Mrs. Calabash, wherever you are. <laughs> No more. This is the end, Sheriff Woodpecker. One, two, three. Pui, pui. That dirty little check present in bush and bread and rattles. <coughs> Somebody's gonna get what they deserve. And it might as well be you. Shoo! Off to jail, bad man. Oh, I'll probably get a big reward for this. Well, uh, where did, uh, uh... I'm gonna clobber that little guy. Get my boots back, too. The minute he comes out, I'll let him have it.
that dirty little smart aleck. Again. This time I'll blast him for good. Okay, Woodpecker! He'll be singing with a harp pretty soon. Cause I'm gonna blow this place to kingdom come. Family, starring Charlie Berry, Bessie Berry, and Junior. What's the matter, Bessie? The sink is all clogged up. Well, don't blow a gasket, Bessie. I can fix it easily. Oh, no, you can't. This time we get a plumber. Oh, no. Plumbers get $25 an hour. So? So I'll fix it myself. Hey, Junior. What do you want, Pop? Your mother here has a very serious major problem. <laughs> Gee, what is it, Father? I'll try to take it like a man, Junior. I gotta tell you, the sink's clogged up. <laughs> Come on, let's go to work. Here we go again. Towel. Talcum. Rubber gloves. My wrench. Any dumb boob can unclog a sink. Hmm, the water comes down here, goes up and around, and it goes out there. Oh, oh, I have red and... Don't you think I ought to call a plumber, Charlie? No, I don't. I'll fix it myself. Hmm, the trouble could be right here. Oh, hi, Fred. How's chances to borrow your plumber's friend? Dum -da 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 -da. And when you return it, don't forget to bring back my shovel and gopher traps you borrowed last summer. Oh, my gosh! <laughs> Why'd you do that? Now the plunger's stuck on the ceiling. Help! Help! 
Junior, where are you? Junior, help! Where are you, Pop? Up here, you boob. Gee, what are you doing up there, Pop? Never mind that. Help get me down. Gee whiz. dark down in there. Well, turn on the light. <laughs> you big boob. That's the garbage disposal switch. Yeah? Oh, uh, you, you got a snake I can borrow? Here, and I hope it bites you. Your father's underwear was dancing right there. You've been working too hard, Mom. I guess it's that stupid Charlie Berry. Junior, there's some kind of monster in there. Help me pull this thing out. Charlie, I think it's for you. Oh, uh, hello, Fred. Did you come to get your snake? it yourself. Now, shall I call a plumber? Yeah, you can call a plumber, Bessie. And uh, will you call a doctor, too? Oh. <laughs> be dangerous. I better go. You wait here. Talsy Walsy, I insist you let me go. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm bigger. I'll take the risk. Now, stay put. Be right back. Boy, what a friend. They don't make them like that anymore. We want them rain. We want them rain. We want them rain. We want them rain. To get them rain, we must sacrifice sacred rain bird. The red-headed woodpecker. A woodpecker? Yeah, you catch them, woodpecker. I give plenty wampum. First, you catch them, woodpecker. Okay, Chief, sit tight. The Indians are friendly, chum. They're just dying to meet you. Wait here, pal. I'll be right back. 
He's a swell friend. Well, I might as well relax until he gets back. Catch him, Woodpecker! Catch him, Woodpecker! I catch him, Chief! Catch him, Woodpecker! Catch him, Woodpecker! Catch him, Woodpecker! Wait there, Chief! I'll get you down. Don't get panicky. Watch it. Take it easy. Don't be chicken. Catch him, Woodpecker. Okay, Chief. Don't panic. Don't panic. Step on it. There he goes. You got me, Chief. But before I get it, puff pipe of peace. Okay. Then you get it. Woodpecker stinker. Now he gets it. You know that hurts? Now you catch him, Woodpecker. Okay, Chief, don't panic. We'll get him. Grab the rope, Chief, and we pull up a Woodpecker. Save me, pal. Help. Okay, chum, don't go away. Save me. <laughs> I got him, Chief. He's all yours. Now I make heap sacrifice and rain come. Hold it, Chief. Look yonder. The rain cloud cometh. Rain cloud cometh? Where, 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 where? Where rain cloud? Where? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where's rain? Rain! Yahoo! Rain! Rain come! Big rain! Yip, 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 yip. Hey, Woodpecker. Yes, sir. How you stop them, Rain? Sacrifice a fox. A fox? Oh, no. Woody, Woody, old pal of mine. Don't forsake you, old friend. 